All right, everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be talking about the season five brand new update that's coming out in about a couple hours from now. So if you're brand new to the channel and you want to make your way back to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, join Turbo Nation, make it official and turn on notifications so you never miss another video. And if we could hit a like goal of 500 likes, I'd really appreciate it. That's the goal for today's video. So Call of Duty Warzone is going to be updated as well as Modern Warfare on August 4th at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, August 5th at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time time this patch update will bring season 5 content to the game and the patch update is version 1.24 the patch is going to be 36 gigabytes on ps4 49.8 gigabytes on xbox one and 54.2 gigabytes for modern warfare owners and 47.4 gigabytes on warzone free to play on pc so if you own modern warfare your download size is actually going to be a little bit larger versus if you just have warzone free to play on pc so just keep that in mind so season 5 goes live with this new update across the entire game season 5 will bring a brand new operator new battle pass and new store bundles for players to explore and unlock more info on the roadmap is here all right so for the playlist updates for modern warfare uh we're gonna have ground war adding Verdansky International Airport. I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, then correct me in the comments down below. Uh, Blueprint Gunfight. Search and Destroy Double Down. It's going to be 12v12. Face Off on Livestock. I guess Livestock is a brand new map that's coming to the game. Oil Rig and Harbor 24-7. I really hope that Oil Rig and Harbor 24-7 are going to be good, fast-paced maps. You know, really small, medium-sized maps that we all want. All right, Warzone. So for Warzone, we're going to have BR Duos, Trios, Quads, Solos solo's buyback previously called solo stimulus okay uh not really sure why they don't just stick with stimulus i don't know why they wanted to change the name to buyback if it's the same exact thing just under a different name uh blood money quads mini royale trios fast-paced battle royale in condensed areas of verdansky so I feel like this is going to be a very hectic game mode here for Warzone. So it should be fun for those who like fast paced Warzone gameplay. All right. So for general fixes, they finally added this into the game. I feel like this should have been added in the game since the game dropped. You know, we had this like Black Ops 4. So it was really nice to just, you know, take a look at your weapon. It's a really minor thing. You know, it doesn't make you a better player in the game just for inspecting your weapon. But it's always fun to take a look at your weapon in game and, you know, just admire the camo. Uh, fix for an issue where store bundle images could get stuck on the previous bundle image when scrolling on pc fixes to prevent screen tearing fix for an issue where price and gas occasionally lose their eye models while navigating various menus <laughs> i haven't actually seen that one but uh i'm glad they fixed this one fixed a bug where when the headshots only option is set in a custom game the male operator hitboxes aren't functioning properly fixed for an issue where the default scope on the right tech amr cannot be customized fixed for a bug where care packages juggernauts and emergency airdrops were not getting properly refunded to the player if getting the too many vehicles refunding killstreak message in a custom game Stopping power rounds are now preserved on dropped weapons. All right. So, okay, this, okay, I have to think about this one for a second. So, yeah, this is actually an issue that I've personally went through. So, let me know down below in the comments if you've had some questions wondering, you know, why didn't my weapon that I just dropped on the floor still have stopping power rounds? So, I'm really glad that they fixed this because it just didn't make any sense at all for you to lose your stopping power rounds when you drop your weapon, you try to pick it back, and it's gone. Uh, added a brief decay period when transitioning from heavy footsteps, uh, sprint, tactical sprint to lighter footsteps and walk. This addresses players immediately becoming quiet upon slowing down from fast movements. Fix the bug where the player's choice of weapon, fire, and scope states were not being saved and restored after interacting with the sentry gun, shield turret, and care package. We'll have weapon tuning and other weapon adjustments in a future patch. Stay tuned for updates. Ah, boo. So unfortunately, they didn't include the weapon tuning. Uh, I was really looking forward to that. I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to what they're going to nerf, what they're going to buff, you know, things of that nature. So for Modern Warfare exclusively, fix for invisible collision appearing in Barricade Promenade. Fix for a bug where the 23.0 inch RPK barrel was appearing broken in game. And in the gunsmith menu, fix for an exploit where players were able to give themselves unlimited ammo. I actually didn't know about this one. Uh, well, I'm glad that they fixed that as well. Fix for an exploit using the recon drone and care package. The PKM bludgeoner will now gather ammo from any other PKM weapon. Fix an issue where players were hearing the missed hit VO for the precision airstrike right after calling it in. 
Not really sure I've ever encountered this issue. You know, I don't really use precision airstrike in multiplayer. Added a VO line when a player's high alert warning is triggered. VO, what does that even mean? VO. Someone let me know down below in the comments. Uh, fix an issue where players could receive wall bang kills when shooting through players. For Warzone, new Warzone loot items. Yay, I wonder what they could be. Gulag weapons will now rotate every week between four sets total. All right, so I guess this is good that they're going to switch it up every single week because, you know, we're tired of just being stuck with the same weapons all the time in the Gulag, so it adds some variety to the Gulag, I guess. Increased effective damage range for all semi-auto DMR and semi-auto sniper rifles. Increased damage range for the FR-556. All right, so I guess they want people to start using the FR-556 a lot more. Which I do agree with, you know, you don't really see that in Warzone. However, we'll see if it's an actual significant damage range. Fix for a bug where the player's physics could be controlled by the helicopter while they parachute out. Fix for an issue where players were unable to call in any airstrikes. So this one is actually a huge issue that I've experienced as well. You know, it's very annoying when you go ahead and buy airstrikes, especially when the circle gets a lot smaller and it's time to actually call in an airstrike and it doesn't even go in. So I'm glad that they fixed that, but we'll see, you know, we still have to play the season to actually find out. Uh, fix for seeing invalid pings on the heartbeat sensor. This I have not experienced. So either way, I'm glad that they fixed it. Added new VO lines to warn players of enemy recon drones being called in near them. Uh, previously, the most wanted contract could respawn dead players. Now it can respawn players in the gulag in any state. All right, that's cool too. Uh, fix for the alive in gas challenge timer. Uh, Call of Duty League, fix for an exploit while inside the blue kiosk on Piccadilly. New restricted attachments will be muzzle suppressors, thermal sights, and the Merc 4 grip. So, so if you're into the CDL, you absolutely cannot use these at all. Not really sure if this aligns right with how the pros actually play the game. But either way, that'll be interesting for those who like to play competitive. Co-op modes, TAC Ops, Classic, Special Operations, Survival. Team Ping is now enabled in these modes. New challenges, playing in Bogard, defeat enemies in style while supporting your teammates in these co-op focused challenges. Special Operations, Survival, added a new map, Crash. Fix for exploit involving the equipment store. And for PC, improved stability, VRAM usage is now displayed in two separate bars. One for Warzone and the other from multiplayer. Added a keybind for air vehicles is horn in the kill streak and vehicles tab in the options menu. All right, so taking a look at the roadmap here, here's what we can expect in season five in Warzone and in multiplayer. Verdansky opens up, so we already knew about this. The stadium's gonna be open up. You can actually drop here now. And as you can see here, the stadium gets cracked. You guys can pause through the video. I'm not gonna read every single description here. So we know that the stadium gets cracked open. Uh, train station is now lit up. So now we can walk through the train station and we could also take the train if we wanted to. Going up in the world, exterior ascension. Need to take down a troublesome sniper. Oh, okay. I like this one. So now we're able to grapple hook wherever there's snipers camping up there on top of buildings. So I'm really glad that they added that into the game. Mini Royale, this we already talked about here. Like I said, just feel free to pause the video. Uh, weapon rotation, weapon you discover lying on the ground or in supply crates has been meticulously updated to potentially provide new preload drop weapon tactics for your squad. Expect eight common, 13 uncommon, 15 rare, 19 epic, and 25 legendary variants to find throughout Verdansky. War tracks, jam out to some sweet Modern Warfare tunes while cruising through Verdansky. Okay. All right, so this is actually pretty cool. We're able to listen to music now. Four free multiplayer maps in new events. So uh, this is one of the maps right here that we were just talking about. Livestock is a gunfight map. And Petrov Oil Rig is a multiplayer map. 6v6 gun battles. Large 6v6 gun battles. Okay, uh, I guess this is not the small, medium-sized map we were hoping for. Suldal Harbor. Longtime veterans or map fanatics will recognize this map from the franchise's first ever multiplayer experiences while others be introduced to this classic map for the first time here in season five set in a middle eastern harbor medium sized okay medium sized 6v6 that's all i need to hear i think this is going to be a really good map so i can't wait to play that like i said just pause the video if you want to read more about the details uh verdansky international airport so this one's for ground war not really much of a ground war guy myself but i'm sure a lot of you guys are fans of ground war uh let's see here even more free content bare bones oh no kill streaks no field upgrades no perks okay i like that i like bare bones i'm a fan of bare bones uh search and destroy double down 
Uh, this we already talked about, and Season 5 Missions and Challenges. Whether you're playing multiplayer Warzone, the Challenge tab allows you to easily tailor your progression through the season's ranks, whether you're focusing on daily, weekly, or mission challenges. All right, so I, I really like this addition as well. It's just much easier to track your progress in-game. So that's about it for the patch notes. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I was really hoping for something along the lines that would try to stop cheaters from playing the game because it really is annoying playing against hackers or people who are cheating using wall hacks, aim bots etc you know it's just not fun so i really hope that they address it this season and try to crack down even more so on those type of players uh, so yeah, guys don't forget to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy subscribe if you are new around here and i'll see you guys in the next one peace